What's going on you guys? Godzilla Fan Freaks coming at you today with another figure review. And today's figure review is the SH Monster Arts Burning Godzilla. Just to get started off with the box, here's the box. Everybody knows the classic SH Monster Arts designed boxes. All the good stuff all the way around. Very nicely done boxes. And now on to the figure itself. Here is SH Monster Arts Burning Godzilla. Uh, very uh, nice SH Monster Arts. I was debating before I bought this guy, I was debating on whether I wanted to buy him or not just because I already had the SH Monster Arts Godzilla, but then I realized I'd never had a Burning Godzilla in my collection. So I said, why not get the SH Monster Arts one? It's decent looking and, uh, you know, fair detail and uh, paint job and all that is very nice. A very nice black all the way around with translucent plastic for the burning areas on his chest, abdomen, uh, thighs, shoulders, and spines are very nicely done. Another thing to note that a lot of people uh, weren't sure as, but I've heard the I've heard the complaining calm down as of lately. Um, this is accurate. Uh, if you do watch Godzilla vs. Destroya, the orange spines do not flow all the way down to the tail. It just does end up going back into a very uh, white, you know, you know, his normal spine color. So that's accurate. But very nice detail and paint job on this guy all the way around. Very nice orange eyes. Let me get him close to the camera there so you can see those. Hopefully it focuses. But I mean, very nice detail on the claws, the skin, the burning areas, of course the tail. It's just insanely long. So very nice points of detail. And as far as articulation goes, of course, SH Monster Arts has a lot. And, of course, they uh, made this Godzilla. He's a lot lighter than the normal SH Monster Arts Godzilla just because they wanted him to have a more range of movement. So, I mean, his legs can move a little more. Of course, his arms, he can look more far up and, you know, more far down. A uh, very good, you know, uh, abdomen sort of waist movement there. And, of course, you know, the classic, you know, all, all the joints in the tail for perfect articulation. And, uh, you know, just a lot of articulation, almost every point that moves on this guy. Wrists, knees, everything, all that good stuff. Now, on to accessories. He does come with an extra pair of hands. They're just more open and aggressive hands. Kind of an odd accessory for Godzilla, but it's okay. I, I don't mind it. Uh, one thing I do wish that they did with some of their SH Monster Arts figures, and even Ultra Act and some stuff like that, I mean, I've heard that they're getting better, but man, if they could just, like, make taking out parts and, you know, swapping in and out parts, if they can make, like, the ball joints or whatever just not so freaking difficult to put on and pull off pieces, because, man, it's like, you feel like you're going to break your figure sometimes, and it's like, I mean, you, you, you never want to do that, but it's like, dang, can't you guys, like, make this easier? You guys got to make it so tight? Damn. But, and then he comes with two little Mazer tanks, you know, Mazer freezer tanks. And, uh, in my opinion, he should have came with at least, like, four or six of these, not just two. Kind of skimped out on this one, but... And then, of course, the last accessory for him is, uh, really, it came from Fire Rodan's accessories. But, I mean, it is the beam for Burning Godzilla. You got the spiral, uh, you know, spiral nuclear beam. So, I mean, this goes perfectly with them. And then, of course, you know, just the Tamashi stand and the stand neck. And uh, that about does it for, uh, uh, you know, if you guys want scaling, I have him out right here. Let me grab him really quick. He's behind the camera. Uh, I'll scale him with the SH Monster Arts Godzilla Jr. One thing about SH Monster Arts that I will say, and what the hell, he's behind the camera too. I'll just grab him. That people always say that, um, you know, that, you know, SH Monster Arts are made to scale in with other SH Monster Arts. I hope they're getting all in the camera shot. But, um, I mean, you can't really mix up with these. Like, if you want them to size up with some of the Ultraman Kaiju or whatever, they're not going to size up. Because, I mean, the Ultraman Kaiju are going to be a little bigger than Godzilla, and people don't like that. And it's like, well, they're all made supposed to be, um... They're all made to size up with their own particular lines. SH Monster Arts with SH Monster Arts, Ultra Act with Ultra Act, and SH Figure Arts with SH Figure Arts. So, I mean, you can mix them up if you want, but sizing will be off because they're supposed to size 
with other uh, figures in the line. So that clears that up. And that about does it for uh, this review. Uh, we are Godzilla Fan Freaks. This is SH Monster Arts Burning Godzilla. Please comment, like, and subscribe. And we will see you guys in the next video review. Thank you for watching.